Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here today for hashtag my creative year with the prompt fiber. I am a lifelong knitter and crocheter, so when I got a choice to pick the uh, prompt word for September, I really wanted the title fiber. So I have something here that I bought many years ago and when you look at it, you'll see that it's kind of older because it's starting to yellow, but that's not going to affect the fiber. So what this is, is a kit to make um, two little sheep. It's from Lorna's Wool and it's needle felt. It's a needle felting kit and it's in, it looks like an egg carton, a plastic egg carton. And I've had it so long that I think the carton is starting to yellow. I think I've had it probably 10 plus years. So it's going to make a lot of noise when I open the carton. So hold your ears if you're a person who's sensitive to noise because this is going to make you absolutely crazy. All right, so, it, oh wait, it shows the little sheep on the, aren't they cute? All right, there's, this thing is ooh, sealed very tightly. Ooh. When you open the kit, what you get is the directions. It shows the little picture of the sheep. Then you get this lovely pamphlet and it shows other animals that you can get in kits to do the felting also. So they give you the sheep's body. I know there's a glare on this, but it, it's nice white wool and it's very soft and spongy. Feels so cool. It's like almost the shape of an egg, but it's flat on one side and more rounded on the other end. So can you see it? That it wait, it's hard to show it. It's flat and then it's rounded. Okay, so there's that. Uh, let's see. So they give you two of these, one for each sheep. Then it gives you directions, step one through la 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 la. One through six. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do both sheep on the camera unless they're the first one's super duper easy. But I'm going to do the first sheep and then I'm going to fat, um, show you how to do it. Then I'm, I'm going to have to fast forward through this because I'll be reading the instructions the same time I'm doing it because I have never done needle felting. I've done the kind of felting where you knit something 10 times the normal size, then you throw it in the washing machine and you wash it and it shrinks down to something Barbie would wear and you're proud. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to make these uh, at least one sheep with all the supplies here. You get a little curly wool in a little zippy bag. This is the this is the stuff that's gonna you're gonna needle felt onto the egg. It almost looks like Santa Claus's beard. They're locks. This is a uh, unprocessed wool. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells good. So it's clean. It does have a little bit of veg matter in it. Vegetative. Sheep live outside. They get dirty. You try to wash it, but it doesn't all come out. See, there's another piece of veg right there that dark oh you can't see it oh yeah there it is that little dark spot anyway so that you get this you get the little whoops you get more wool to, i think this one is this one to make the a black sheep oh this is for the black sheep's um face and feet this is and then you have the other sheep who is the brown and it gets does it get legs too i don't know does it say do legs La, 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 la. Yep, the brown sheep has legs. You just can't see them because there's so much wool on here. Um, so you make the head, the ears, and the, the legs out of this piece. There's your two eggs. There is a dark color wool. And then you have, you have a dark sheep and you have a white sheep. And then these lethal weapons are the... Oh, that's very cool. Felting needle kits. Oh, it looks like... Huh. It's got styrofoam in it and... These are very sharp, but aren't they cool looking? Looks like a cane. Oh my dear, dear, dear. There he goes. Okay, so they're very, ooh, those bad boys are sharp. I guess if you, are they different sizes? No, no, you get three needles in there. That is so cool. They all look the same. Ugh. Yep, they're all the same. All right, so I'm going to read the instructions and then I'm going to make a sheep. So I'm going to fast forward it, like I said, because this has got instructions where it tells you what to do, steps one through six. There's your 
instructions. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to fast forward through it. I'll see you guys on the other side when I talk about how easy or how hard or frustrating it was to make this. I'm so excited. I've had this thing for 10 years. I'm just now getting to use it. All right. See you guys on the other side.
Okay, so this is the end, and this is the finished product. This is my little gray sheep with the brown face, brown ears, four little brown legs, and a little nubby tail. It didn't say to put any, um, I should have mashed the ears down a little more. Yeah, I would have liked the ears. I may have to have felt that a little bit more. It didn't say to put any hair on its head, any wool on its head, or do a little tail, but this is what I have left over. This is what was, whoops, let's get that separated. This was what was for the head and the body, or for the body, and this was for the, the legs. This was what was left over in the, you know, in the before and after. Before, <laughs> after, anyway, so it was about this size, and this is what I ended up with. Um, the legs, it said it doesn't have to stand, and that you can adjust the legs accordingly, but I, you know, you could stab this thing all stinking day until you're just crazy about trying to make it perfect, but honestly, this wasn't about being perfect. This is about exploring something that I really like to do, and just to have a good time with it. Fiber is um, not just about putting um, ribbons on tags. It's about other kinds of things like wool and, you know, fun stuff like that and doing something different outside your comfort zone. But these are terribly cute and he's so squishy. Uh, let me show you one that I've had for 20, 25 years. This is another sheep that was made. Um, it was made by hand, you can feel, but the legs are from felt and they're sewed. It's sewed right down the middle. Um, and the head is actually felt and so are the ears, but the, the uh, tuft on the top and this is real wool. And it was a Christmas ornament. It was given to me by a woman who was my pen pal who lived in Holland, Michigan. And you know, I've kept it all these years and she sent it to me and I thought it was so adorable. It goes everywhere we live. And now she has a companion. Isn't that cute? Look at that. Isn't that sweet? There's a little legs. I think maybe I need to work a little more on this one to make sure he's more secure to the body. He's got a little teeny tail. And there is my little felted sheep. All right, I hope you enjoyed watching and that you will try this. Again, this is from, and I don't know if they still make these or not, but this is from Lorna's Wool um, Needle Felting Kits. 100% wool needle felting kit. And then the inside, it shows that you can do a pair of sheep, a toad and a frog, a rabbit and vegetables, chicken family, three little pigs, and songbirds. They may have more, I don't really know. And I don't even know if these people are still in business. If they are, I will put a link down below. And you can enjoy making a fuzzy critter with fiber as much as I did. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Whoops, sorry about the glare. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.